In this episode, we're going to be showing the ladies how to get free drinks in Hong Kong, as well as great ways to save on food, transportation, and lots of free attractions, and of course, staying safe. Heather, I'm not happy you're getting drinks from other guys. I'm getting jealous. Calm down, Charles. I didn't say I'd be getting them from other guys. I can get them on my own. In Hong Kong on Wednesdays and Thursdays, many bars and clubs offer ladies' night specials and free drinks for us girls. And the only one who's paying for overpriced drinks and those cover charges are the guys to compensate for our free drinks. So hopefully you're not one of them. Heather, there's a lot more to do in Hong Kong than hustling drinks, but before we can do that, we need to find our way to a convenient and expensive and safe area in Hong Kong. The most inexpensive way to get to and from the city is using an airport shuttle bus, and you'll find the specific bus numbers and the routes available in the descriptions below. We recommend you purchase an octopus card for the public transportation system. It can also be used in many establishments. Any unused balances are fully refundable. You can get to the Central District or downtown Hong Kong with an express shuttle. Here you'll find lots of inexpensive hostels that are perfect if you like walking around all the major skyscrapers in Hong Kong. It's where I got my free drinks in the club and bar district Lan Kui Fong. It's also home to Times Square, the government and historical buildings, and the main shopping district near Causeway Bay. Charles, I hope that MacBook you just picked up is for my birthday. I think I need it for my studies. If that's not enough and you still feel the need to learn, you can always pray to the god of literature at the Mapo Temple. If you're into animals, there's the Hong Kong Zoo and Botanical Garden near that government house. The famous Hong Kong Park and Victoria Park is also a walking distance away. But if you like bargain hunting, amazing street food, and lots of local sweet treats, there's a shuttle bus that can take you to the most congested residential and shopping area in all of Asia, Mongong. If you want to practice your haggling skills, you'll need to come to the ladies' market on Tung Choi Street, where you'll find hundreds of stalls selling everything from clothing, souvenirs, and accessories. And if you want to make your girlfriends happy, then make sure to visit the flowers market where you can find dozens of shops selling beautiful flowers and luck bringing house plants like this. Thank you. And for those of you who want to take in a great view of the Hong Kong skyline, Jim Sha Joy is a perfect location and a nice backdrop as well. It is also where I stayed at the YMCA Hotel at 41 Salisbury Road. It costs a little bit more than a hostel, but every night you are treated to the spectacular light show of the city. So don't forget to take a nice long walk on the Jim Sha Joy Promenade. It's very romantic. But I don't like walking. <clears throat> I mean, I like walking, especially when the cultural center and the many museums are free on Wednesdays. My favorite is the Hong Kong Space Museum. There's a planetarium and even mock-up of nose and cockpit section of the space shuttle. Next door is a Hong Kong Museum of Art, where you can enjoy paintings, calligraph, and sculptures from Hong Kong, China, and other parts of the world. If you can't make it for free Wednesdays, bring your student card for half price admission. And don't forget to wake up early next morning for free Tai Chi class offered on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays between 8 to 9 near the Bullwalk. And of course, my favorite, the Avenue of Stars, which pays tribute to the names that make Hong Kong the Hollywood of the East, including the handprints and statue of Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan. Heather, do you think we'd be famous someday? Let's hope so, Charles. But what Hong Kong is really famous for is its remarkably low crime rates, making it such a safe city. But if you still want to get famous, your best chance is to visit the Wang Dai Sin Temple. It is known for making your every wish come true, like my wish of winning the lottery. And if you're disappointed your wish hasn't come true, then another way is to get high. I mean, to go higher to praise a giant Buddha. The statue is 34 meters tall, weighing over 250 metric tons. The figure can be seen across as far as a Macau on a clear day. The visitors will have to climb 268 steps to reach the Buddha. But Charles, you forgot to talk about praying for a winning horse! <laughs> oh. 
For only 10 Hong Kong dollars, or about $1.50 US, you can place a bet at Hong Kong's Happy Valley Racetrack. Your winning bet will be a multiple of your wager, not to mention the excitement of seeing your winning horse cross the finish line. And after winning all that money, I think it's time to treat ourselves to some inexpensive but tasty street food. If you are living in Central, then visit the Graham or Hu Fook Street, where you can try chicken feet, curry balls, and some dishes from Beijing and Shanghai. But if you are hungry late, go to Temple Street. It is open between 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. It is where locals eat. But if you are adventurous enough, I dare you to try the pig intestines or octopus tentacles on a stick. After all that fueling up, it's time to learn about the history of Hong Kong. And the Hong Kong Heritage Museum is the perfect place for that. Plus, it's free on Wednesdays. Whoa, that's a lot to learn and to stay awake through. And talking about staying awake, we should learn about all the great benefits of tea and to get some free samples. There's no better way than Flagstaff House Museum of Teaware. Here, you can see tea masters demonstrate variety type of tea that should go along with the seasons. After all that caffeine, I'm ready to conquer Victoria Peak! <laughs> wait! Wait for me! After all, Victoria Peak is definitely one of the must-do it things in Hong Kong. You'll get the best view of Victoria Harbour from the Peak Circle Walk, which is also the highest point on Hong Kong Island. There are many ways to get up there, the most inexpensive way being to get off at the MRT Central or Admiralty Station and hike up by Old Peak Road, provided in the description. I can't catch up to Heather, it's getting dark out. I'm afraid I need to take a bus or for ultimate experience take a vertical tram up. At night, you'll be treated to a fantastic, spectacular light of Hong Kong skyscrapers. I'd like to show you something really cool, a really awesome view of Hong Kong. And here you go. This is on my iPhone, so the quality is not 100% great, but look at this. And don't forget to try out all of the other unique transportation options around Hong Kong, such as double-decker buses and taking the ferries to the surrounding islands. Changchou means Long Island, located 10 kilometers southwest of Hong Kong Island. We recommend you rent a bicycle for the day to discover the Tung Wan Beach and Kuan Yan Beach, Chung Po Sai Cave, hiding places of pirates during the 19th century, or try out a nice scenic scroll at the Tai Sai Road. And don't forget to get high. Not the same old joke, Charles. Okay, I mean, don't forget to check out the North Lookout Pavilion. Yes, yes, yes. Charles, you forgot to take me there for lunch. It would have been so nice to spend some time together in such beautiful scenery. I'm sorry, Heather. The fishing boat just docked. In Changzhou, there is a, still an active fishing fleet, and the local restaurants are always ready to dish out the fresh fish of the day. The seafood street near the pierce is the best place on the island for the special fishy dates. Although there's so much more to do in Hong Kong, unfortunately we don't have time to mention it all on the air. So don't forget to check out below in the description to look for more tips and places to go. The best place to exchange your money is at the banks. There's a lot of competition, so you know you'll get a good rate. There is a Disneyland in Hong Kong, but given the enormous admission price and the smaller size compared to other Disney parks, we recommend you think twice about visiting the Hong Kong location. Similarly, Ocean Park is slightly less expensive, but you also might want to think if it's worth it to take a look there as well. Officially, there is no outside food allowed. You can bring in small amount of snacks as food is extremely expensive there. So, we hope you found this video useful, and don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest, and now we are on Instagram. And Heather, I got something for you from Chanjo. It has your name on it. Look at that. Wait a second, that's not my name. Who's Krista? Oh my god, oh my god. Uh, let me explain. <laughs> so don't forget to take a walk on the... Okay, I'm not saying Jai, 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 No, I'm not saying it. You do make me laugh. Okay. I don't think that's in the script. Alright, I know! Say the history, who cares? Right. <laughs> okay. You'll find the specific bus numbers and routes in the description below.
One more tip? Yes. Stick an octopus testicles on a stick. Oh god. Is it tentacles? Have testicles? Okay, no, sorry, sorry. Tentacles. Tentacles, sorry. 